Welcome to the Senior Business Leaders Interview Series from Breaking Defense. I'm your host, Barry Rosenberg. This year will mark the 10th anniversary of the first operational intercept by Israel's Iron Dome system. Joining me today to discuss the program is Shlomo Tov, Vice President at Rafal Advanced Defense Systems, which manufactures Iron Dome. So it's not hyperbole to say that Rafal's Iron Dome is the world's most deployed missile defense system against rockets, mortars, artillery shells, and air breathers like UAVs with more than 2,500 intercepts and a success rate of more than 90%. On this, the system's 10th anniversary, please look back on the challenge that Rafal faced in developing our Iron Dome and the technologies and capabilities that have made it a success. This is a first of its kind system. There was no other system at the time that could shoot rockets out of the sky. When we got this program, it was after the second Lebanon war where um, our civilian population was attacked by thousands of rockets and uh, there was no adequate defensive response to that. There was a lot of doubt on whether or not such an achievement could be, could be done. Uh, I can tell you that there were people here that wanted to review the program and we said we will deliver this in three years and they said there's, a, there's no way, and they laughed at our faces. They didn't. They weren't even polite enough to leave the room and laugh outside. But um, three years later, we proved them wrong. The system has since evolved in a dramatic fashion. Today, you can see um, our capabilities against salvos. You can see them either from uh, TV, um, uh, I would say reviews of, of what is going on here in this region, or you can see it, the, the, the test that was just published by IMDO where we demonstrated our capability against cruise missiles and several UAVs at the same time. I would say that it is a game changer. Um, when you have rocket attacks on your civilian population, which is not an easy thing for anybody, um, and instead of having your people running into the shelters, they go out and take their cell phones or whatever they have and take pictures of Iron Dome shooting out rockets. It gives you the amount of confidence that our citizens feel uh, towards this system. This system has, been, has proven itself in multiple, um, I would say, um, events where it had to be uh, used operationally. And that attests to the trust that the people of Israel have given this system. So I would say that the challenge technically was very important. And also there was a challenge from, I would say, the national defense uh, perspective because no country can allow its civilians to be under attack uh, by such a quantity and for such a long time. In order to do this, um, I would say we got the best of the best. We have the best engineers here, very, very dedicated team. I mean, it, if, if I call these people in the middle of the night and I tell them there's an operational issue, they will come in the middle of the night, they will come in the weekend and do whatever it takes to make this uh, system work. So that's a very important factor. And the other important factor that I would mention um, are the very close ties that we hold with the Israeli Air Force and the Israeli Ministry of Defense. And actually we're in sort of a partnership where they give us the operational challenge and we give them the technical solution in order to uh, provide safety to our citizens. You've evolved Iron Dome over the last decade to meet new threats like cruise missiles in a naval environment, for example. Tell me about how Rafal has evolved the system to meet new customer requirements. I would say that we're, we're a living revolution here. We have a lot of engineers working constantly to develop the system. It's not like we finished the, the, the development of Iron Dome in 
2011 had the first uh, successful interception and then stopped working. We have been constantly developing the system with a lot of engineers under the direction of the IMDL, which is the body within the Israeli Ministry of Defense that is in charge of missile defense. And under their direction, we have been constantly developing the system in order to meet the evolving threats, not as we see them today, but we're looking a few years down the road in order to see what is coming, what are the trends, and we are preparing ourselves so that the system stays relevant. The U.S. Army has bought two Iron Dome batteries, and you've teamed with Raytheon to establish an Iron Dome production facility in the U.S. Tell me about that effort and its status. We have delivered the first two Iron Dome batteries to the United States Army on time. We have passed uh, um, the acceptance test on time, and we are hoping that we that the U.S. Army will actually use them and have give them up. Um, operational capability. Um, I think that these batteries can uh, help protect uh, U.S. forces wherever they're deployed. Um, I would also say that uh, we have a partner in the U.S. which is working with us, that is uh, Raytheon, and together with Raytheon we have formed a company that is uh, going to produce the all-up round Iron Dome missile in the United States. Currently, I can say that already 75% of Iron Dome is being produced in the United States in over 22 states. So um, I think this is sort of a success story and I'm hoping that uh, Iron Dome will help, I would say, uh, make the close ties that we have with the United States even better. Thank you. So I've had the pleasure today of talking with Shlomo Toff from Rafale Advanced Defense Systems. Thanks for joining us, Shlomo, and thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next edition of our Senior Business Leaders interview series.